Reminder, securely fasten the wrist strap as shown. I don't really use a wrist strap, it gets in the way, and I know how to be careful with technology. I haven't broken a single DS yet. Oh, the Wii system does not have a Resident Evil 4 system data file. Well, there goes the surprise! Would you like to create... yes. Save system data! At least I saved something. Licensed by Nintendo! This game contains strong language, scenes of violence and gore. Capcom presents... Cryware? No, Capcom doesn't present Cryware. At least I don't think so. Hello! I'm Captain Gamer, and let's play Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition. I know everything about this game from videos. I've seen a dozen and a half playthroughs of it. I've seen tons of speedruns of the game. I've seen people, you know, make a mockery of the game and its funny AI. Cross but I have never Go actually done a full playthrough of this game in length. So we're going into this sort of attract mode right here. That'll demonstrate some of the features and scenes of the game. Though it looks time. like it's Come mostly in. going to be cutscenes and stuff. You get quick, stuff. as expected. After all, you and I both know where we come from. <laughs> nope, there's some gameplay. What do you want? Hmm. He even showed off a quick time event. How oh, interesting. Leon. Long time no see. Gasp! If you do if this is your first Resident Evil, you wouldn't even know how relevant that is. Alright. So this is the Resident Evil for the Wii edition. Or as Katone calls it, the uh the chocolate Sunday version with a fancy spoon. Originally came out on the GameCube, and that was supposed to be the only version of it. Uh, I think the creator said he'd cut off his own head before they made a different version. And then they actually created an item in the game, or some other Capcom game. I'm gonna quickly go through to see if there are subtitles in this, which it doesn't look like there are. Darn. Also, considering the... Uh, Whatchamacallit, the disclaimer at the beginning of the game. I think I'm going to incorporate that into every video in uh, this Let's Play. Because uh, I noticed that Proton John does it in his current Resident Evil 5 Let's Play. And it is such a great idea. I sort of want to get that trend going. So, we'll figure out what the heck is going on as we embark. So for the time being, let's play Resident Evil 4... We edition. Resident Evil 4. Yeah, what he said. I guess it would be kind of silly if he said We edition after that. 1998. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the International Pharmaceutical Enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Basically doing an overview of everything that happened Six years over the course of Resident Evil's incident. 1 through 3 leading up to this.
I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Cornel, why am I the one who always gets me short in the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. <laughs> oh, you're crazy, American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. You're gonna see a lot of really well-written, dry script in this game. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the President's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the president's daughter. Apparently, she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Ah, it's freezing. So cold all of a sudden. Uh, must be my imagination. Sorry it took so long. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. We'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. Jeez. Who are these guys? Did you say something? Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. Bam! All right. And my Wii Remote is working just fine, so I have no idea what's going on. But yeah, that opening sequence, a lot of people have it memorized down to a T. Almost to the caliber of uh, the Silent Hill 2 opening. And, of course, I remember it too. Now, we've all seen two best friends play, so we know that these crows... One of them has swallowed something unexpected. Bam! Up. And, uh... Well, I... I figured out that you, uh... You hold the B button on the Wii remote to uh, aim yourself. You hit the A button to fire. The Z button on the nunchuck. Oh, I missed a crow. The, uh... Z button is used to, uh, run. I mean, I did a dry run of this just to get a feel for the controls. And while you're aiming, you shake the Wii Remote to reload. That is just cool. Shaking the Wii Remote while you're not aiming, you do a little, uh, knife swipe. Which can actually be kind of unintuitive. Because I'm, I'm just wiggling it right now. 
and you can't really react to it, so you hold the C button to sort of stay in the mode, and you can even aim yourself if you're holding C. But that's enough of the tutorial about it. It can get kind of tiresome to learn how the game is. Uh-oh, someone's looking out through the window at me. Kind of pretending to be unawares, as you would expect. So, the village is over here, but we are being blocked by this truck. One thing that inspired me to do Resident Evil 4 is I started playing it recently, and I was just having so much fun that I thought, oh, I wish I were let's playing this. So I didn't even get that far, and I decided, hey, I think I will. And besides, I haven't really, I haven't really uh, demonstrated my action side. Right now I've been playing, you know, RPGs, very methodical, slow-paced games. There are various small items on the shelf. Nothing particularly unusual here. Maybe they just that. I like how when you aim, it's sort of like a uh, zoom in a little bit. And I don't really want to cause a ruckus by breaking anybody's windows. So, the uh, story goes, we are Leon S. Kennedy on a mission to save the president's daughter who had been kidnapped. And really, that is all you need to know to go into this game. Oh, uh, one of the locals. Me. Sir? I'll explain why I laughed afterwards. I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. ¿Qué carajo estás haciendo aquí? Lárgate, cabrón! Sorry to have bothered you. Freeze! I said freeze! Uh oh, got a hostile. Hit him once in the face, kick him down, and then give him a few knife slashes just to make sure he knows who's boss. That's really gonna be the bread and butter for defeating small enemies, the typical Ganados in this game. And the truck that was down the way. Uh oh. Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. Uh, check the guy. He's not a zombie. I guess not. He was capable of speech and everything. Okay. Let's get out of here. It won't budge. They must be pressing against it from the other side. Seems like they really want to uh, get at me. Don't know why they'd be pressing against it to get that goal. Okay, the reason why I sort of laughed at this uh, sequence... Oh dear. Looks like they've killed a lot of people. I hope Ashley's okay. Oh man. The reason why I laughed at this initial sequence is because one of the first things I saw of Resident Evil 4, well, was um, when YouTube poop was a big thing. There's a video called Resident Evil 4 Deeper Cut Edition. Oh, I will take this handgun ammo. I believe I will need it. And it's just, <laughs> it's just really funny because Deeper Cut has the kind of YouTube poop style that I really enjoy. And... Of course, everybody goes to the top window to jump out to be really awesome. And we're going to do that on the next episode. So, next time on Let's Play Resident Evil 4, we are going to escape this house and go to the village. Until then, game out. Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap.